Welcome back. So even though it says cannot get, it seems that our application is actually up and running. So I'm going to copy the path here because we're going to use that in Postman now to actually try and create our first user, just like we did in the previous videos. Uh, but now it's going to be on a live server. So in the REST API, again, if you scroll down, he is having an example here somewhere that says how you can actually create your first user. There it is. This is how you would um, create a user and we don't have any users yet so we need to create the first one and we can do that right now on live without having any, any authentication at all we'll change that in uh, the next video but uh, this is how you would create a user and let's just have a look at this line because it we're going to do it from postman so it's a bit different but we want a post request I can see that at least so let's go to our beautiful postman here and convert this into a post request and enter the URL that we want okay going back what else is he saying He's saying that we're going to hit slash users on the server. So let's try and do slash users. Now he's doing his on localhost. We're not, we're actually doing it on a real server and that's why we need the actual link here for our Heroku application. ID doesn't matter in our case. And this is actually adding um, a new user. We need information about that user. So this is how you would do it from a curl request, but we're doing it from Postman. So what we'll do is we'll go into the body of Postman, we'll say raw, and we'll select JSON because that's what we're going to pass over. Add curly brackets, and then I'm going to change this into looking like a JSON object. There we go, so I even added a name to this. He doesn't provide that in his example. Let's just look at the example again. Um, he didn't add a name, he added an email and a password and an access token. Now this is the master key. This key has to be the same like the one we put inside our settings here. This guy right here. So I'm going to copy that key to make sure I put in the right one. And again, it should be a lot more complex than what I did right here. But who cares, right now we'll live with it. So I put that information inside the access token. If you don't have that, you won't get access to your service. You'll get an arrow back. So again, post request, the path for your beautiful REST API inside the cloud. The header, you don't care about that. You'll go into body, you'll select raw and JSON application. Then the header will automatically be added as a content type up here. The body will be filled with some JSON information. And I just grab that information from his site here. And then you'll just do a simple post here. And there we go, a new user was created. Remember the slash users up here. I actually forgot that for a second. So don't forget the slash users up here. And this is the user now created. And if I want to see this guy in the actual Mongo database, I can go to Mongo Lab now. I can click the collections and you'll notice a new collection will pop up here, hopefully. Now let me just refresh the page. A new collection pops up with users with one document. If I click the users document, you can actually see this is my new user I just created with a hashed password, of course, so you can't read my beautiful, beautiful password. That's it for this lesson. Now we created our first user, meaning that now we can actually, the REST API is running and we can start working from Postman with the REST API. See you in the next lesson.